Hey guys, welcome to Dr. Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about how to generate Figma designs with AI. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So welcome on this tutorial on how to generate designs inside Figma using just AI. So if you're not familiar with Figma, this is a popular design tool used by designers and teams to create user interfaces, prototypes, and many more. So onto this tutorial, there is actually a plugin that will show you called Builder.io so that we could use that to harness the power of AI and generate stunning Figma design. So this feature can save you time, inspire creativity, and streamline your design process whether you are designing a product page, a homepage hero, or anything else. AI can assist you in generating design ideas quickly and efficiently. So as you can see, there is actually a new feature here onto Figma, which is dev mode that brings a new space for developers. So this brings clarity to design and give developers the tools they need to translate them into a code. So you could see also that you could scale design and development on Figma. You could also align your team using FigJam. So this is an online whiteboard where everyone who builds products can collaborate so that you could use this to bring your teams together in new ways. So for you to be able to get started onto using Figma or using this cutting edge tool, you could just go ahead and click the link in the description box below to get started with Figma today. So you'll get redirected onto this page right after clicking onto that and you're just going to go ahead and click on to get started for free to create an account. Now signing up is really easy. You'll have the option to continue with Google, type in your email, password, and then you have the option to agree to join Figma's mailing list. So by clicking create account right after filling these details or this continue with Google, you should agree to Figma's TOS and OZA privacy policy. So you could use single sign on for that. And if you have an account already, just simply click on to log in. So preferably, I always use this continue to Google feature since I don't have to remember anything such as my email or password. I'll just have to click onto the account that I want to use, type in the password so that you'll get redirected onto the dashboard. Now this is what Figma's dashboard would look like. So let's start here onto the left side. So you should actually see your account settings in here where you can see your name. You could change your photo, change the theme, settings. You could also get the desktop up to use the Figma. You also can choose different accounts in here or add a new account and the logout option. Now beside that is this icon. So this is where your no notification would go through. So if you have a notification, you could just view this and a search bar so that you can search for files, teams, or people. So here you should be able to see the recents here onto the middle if you click onto that. And you'll also see your teams, drafts, and if you're running out of files in your free team, you could upgrade to different plans. So let's click onto that so that you could choose a plan that is right for you. So you could choose from monthly to yearly and currently we're using the starter which is free for trying things out and we also have the professional which is the most popular for you and your team with unlimited files and all the pro features we also have organization for bringing teams together sharing an organization wide sign system and many more so you could go ahead and click onto upgrade in here if you want to upgrade to a different plan and you could also see all the features here onto the bottom part if you click onto that now we could also see the favorite files in here so if you hover onto any file like this you're just gonna go ahead and click the start to add it in here so let's try to remove that one out so this would help you remember the favorite files that you have so that you could quickly or easily access them you could also see your teams in here, add in a new team, and also the explore community. So here onto the middle, so as of what I've mentioned, these are the recent, but if you click on teams, you can see the different teams that you have in here and drafts as well. So you can see different designer templates in here. And if you want to create from scratch, you could see the design file in here, fig jump board, and you could also import from other files. Now let's head back onto the explore community in here. Let's click onto that. So this part, this is where you could explore thousands of free and paid templates, plugins, and UI kits to kickstart your next big idea. We have a search bar in here. You could search for inspiration, team syncs, design system, visual assets, and development onto this page. So mostly of these are done by other users from Figma or from anything. So you could just go ahead and browse through this so that you could go ahead and make use onto the different designs. Now if you scroll down here, you should be able to discover what is new onto Figma. So scrolling down further, you should be able to see the community or the different things that are done by community. So if you hover onto them, you should be able to see some of its details as well as its rating or a quick preview on how it would work. Now, the reason why we're in here is because we're going to go ahead and use a plugin onto creating our design. So we're going to go ahead and utilize the search bar in here. 
So we're gonna go ahead and quickly search in here builder.io. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on to enter. Then let's wait for it to load. Now you could see different options here. You should also see some filters as well in here. So we're currently trying to look for a plugin. Let's just click onto that. And this is the one that we're gonna use. So this first one is what we're gonna use. So if you're not seeing this, actually, you could just try to filter or make use of the filters here onto the upper part so that you could go ahead and try to use this. So you could use for free all creators are many more in there and we live in C. So we're going to go ahead and click onto this one and right after it should redirect us onto this page. So as you can see, we could see builder.io in here, AI power design to code, react, view, tailwind and many more. So this is designed by builder.io and Steve Sewell. You could see the ratings and how many people has been using this. So we could really say that this is a good plugin since there are a lot of users who are currently using this. There's also a quick preview on how it would look or how it works so it shows here under the details as well so we'll just need to install the plugin click the generate code to launch the builder io and make any final adjustments and click get code at the top of builder to view code output or copy and paste it to content of a builder account to publish live so you could see that it can generate designs via ai there is also some troubleshootings in here limitations and some of its extensions you can also see the open source which is available onto a link onto github now to make use onto this plugin you'll actually have the option to save this so that it would be easy for you to access this later on and we're gonna go ahead and try this one out just click on to try it out so that it will redirect us onto the editing page now it should redirect us onto this page. So as you can see, this plugin also runs in design mode. So you could toggle this switch in here between design mode and dev mode. So we're going to go ahead and just try this for design. You could also go ahead and use this for dev mode. So you could choose as per your liking. So you should be able to see this little screen in here. So this is just like onto the page that we've seen earlier. And then we're going to go ahead and try to run this. And if you want to share this with your other friends as well, you could go ahead and click onto this icon to copy the link. So we're going to go ahead and click onto run to completely install this plugin. Now, right after, if you see this pop-up screen, this is already installed. Now, the next thing that you'll need to do is just to head back onto your dashboard. And we're going to go ahead and create a new account so that we could go ahead and utilize that plugin. So we're going to go ahead and click onto design file in here. And we're just going to use a draft. But if you want to go ahead and create or you have a team in here, just click onto that. So wherever you like, you could do that. We're just going to go ahead and click onto draft just for this example or tutorial. Now, once you have successfully opened a blank one, we're going to go ahead and try to open the plugin again. So here, you should be able to see the main menu. You should be able to see the plugins in here and the builder IO that we just recently used. So we're going to go ahead and click onto that. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and open this. So we're going to go ahead and click onto generate in here. So you could type in a prompt or be as detailed and specific as possible. So you need to add in, in here what you want to see onto your photo. So for example, you want to see a home page for a flower shop. So let's try to do that. And then you could choose some style. So enter a well-known site like jcrew.com. This will guide the look and feel and be used as a basis for any images. You could go ahead and type in your OpenAI key. So for you to be able to do that, you need to create an account with OpenAI. Provide then grab your API key and put it in here. So be sure that you have billing turned on as well. And then right after, you're just going to go ahead and click on the generate to use this feature. Now, this is what it looks like once you click on the generate. So it will generate like that and it will show you some options that you want to add onto your product page since the prompt is for a product page that they've typed in here. So you should be able to choose onto the different styles in there. Then you could go ahead and click on favorite and it becomes fully editable directly onto Figma. So you could try to change the text in here try to change the image or anything in there and that's basically it on how to generate figma designs using builder io and if you think this tutorial was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thank you for watching and we'll see you on our next video